Hi everyone, I'm Cody, W3AMG with Bridgecom Systems, and today we're going to be going over what all of the different icons mean on the radio and what they can do for you. Awesome, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so we can kind of start on this side of the radio and work our way across and go over a few that may or may not be showing up here uh, in the meantime. So the first icon is the antenna strength icon. Uh, this is going to show up based on your signal strength to the repeater. Now it's either going to show up like this, which means we don't have any signal strength, or it's going to have uh, either one or more bars there to show us the strength. Pretty simple, right? That's gonna stay there. After that, we have the indicator of our transmitting power. So this icon is going to show us either low, medium, high, or turbo, which indicates how much power we're using when we transmit. After that, uh, we have digital monitoring. So this, this icon is going to demonstrate if we have digital monitoring turned on. And based on how many bars that, that are there on the speaker, uh, if it's one, we're digital monitoring single slot. If there's two, we are doing digital monitoring with double slot. This icon right here, this little microphone, this is the recording feature. So if you have recording turned on on your radio, uh, not all radios support this, um, that icon will show up there. After that, we have the GPS icon. Uh, now the GPS icon will change color. So if you have GPS turned on, but you don't have a GPS lock, it's gonna be gray like this. Now, if it can actually receive GPS signal, uh, that's going to turn to red. And in the case in the studio, we have trouble receiving GPS. If I was to walk outside the studio, uh, we'd pick that up and it would turn red. After that, uh, going over, this is the Bluetooth icon. Uh, now this can change colors based on if we have Bluetooth connectivity to anything. It's gonna be uh, gray if we are not connected to any Bluetooth devices, uh, like in this case. Now it will turn to blue if we are. Uh, actually, while we're on the Bluetooth, I wanna make note of something here. Uh, the Bluetooth icon will show up, but if you have Bluetooth turned off, you may have another icon there. So we'll turn Bluetooth off real quick. And if you have Bluetooth turned off and you also have the auto power off feature enabled, that will actually show up here. Uh, so Bluetooth kind of overrides that, but if you do have that auto power off feature, it will tell you if that's enabled or not with that A. That's what it stands for. After that, moving on, we have color code one. This is either gonna show up as uh, CTC or DCS for your analog operation, or in this case, color code. So in this case, we're in color code one, but it could display uh, whatever number is supposed to be there. After that, moving along, we have the battery icon. This is gonna show up as either a full charge battery, uh, maybe two bars, one bar, and then if there's nothing left, if it's been severely uh, you know, used up, it will basically have a red box with a line in it. So uh, you'll know based on your battery percentage. That works really well. Now there is a few more icons we can go over here. Uh, if we were to connect up or turn on the push to talk, so if I turn Bluetooth on here, there is a P. Now what this P does is that will tell us about the Bluetooth push to talk button. So the push to talk button, if we're not connected to it, it's gonna be gray like in this case. If we're connected to it and all is good, that push to talk button, the P there will be blue. Now if the push to talk button starts to run low on battery and you need to charge it, that's going to turn to red. So in this case, we don't have roaming set up on this radio, but if you have roaming set up, uh, you will get an R up here. Uh, it's either going to be red or green. So if the R is red, that means the roaming is searching. And if the R is green, that means your roaming found a repeater. Now there is another icon here, which we have this set up as amateur, so we're not gonna be able to encrypt anything. But if you're using this, uh, if you have the commercial version and you're using this for commercial purposes, there is an icon which we'll display for you uh, that is for digital encryption. So if you have encryption, an encrypted channel on your radio, uh, this icon is going to show up. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Vox. I've programmed a button to do that. We'll see at this point, we have a blue microphone up there next to the red microphone. That shows that we have Vox enabled. You can see turn Vox off, that goes away, just like that. 